jet lagged. <laughs> Why do we do this? That's for another day. I want to tell a story or, or, or talk to the children today uh, in the story time, and then we'll have uh, some time to, for welcome after the, the children go to church, to school. On Friday, we gathered with a number of people from churches and congregations from all over the city on the Continental Bridge downtown. Anybody, you know that big, tall bridge with the wires? It's the one right next to it, the little one. Because it doesn't have traffic on it, so, that we, so we were there. We gathered there to, to celebrate 50 years after the events at Selma. Now, I know that the children here might not know what Selma is. It's a city in uh, Alabama. 50 years ago, Martin Luther King, who you know, I know you know who Martin Luther King is, or was, he called people of faith, he called people out of the churches to come to Selma and march because African Americans couldn't vote in this country. Can you believe that? 50 years ago, how old are your parents? <laughs> Just shout it out, how old are your parents? <laughs> I'm guessing they're somewhere around 50, so that's a really short time. They're very young. Can you, can you imagine that, that in this country we believe that people with dark skin were not equal to people with white skin only 50 years ago? I, it's hard to imagine that. I know a lot of the, the people who are a little elder lived through that. So Martin Luther King called people of faith to come and march for the right to vote. And a lot of Unitarians went. Why did we go? Some Unitarian ministers went because they wanted to learn about what was going on. Some went because they wanted to witness. They wanted to stand up for justice. Some went, and I would say probably all went, because being a Unitarian means seeing all people as having dignity, as having worth. And they could not stay at home and allow our country to see people with dark skin as not the same as people with white skin. So they went to the bridge because there was a man, a young man who had been killed in an attack by the police and the, the armed forces on the, the, the march. There were three marches. So the Unitarians flooded in as they did this weekend. Some of us couldn't go, but many went to, to remember 50 years. We went down to the bridge downtown. And if you didn't read the, the Dallas Morning News, I, I invite you to, to find that article about that event by James Ragland. Not the kids, but you can do that too. There were two Unitarians who died when they went to the bridge because the white, there was a group of white men who beat up one of the ministers. A minister just like me, but a little younger. They beat him up because he had come to stand up for justice. And there was a woman, Viola Liuza, who died because she was driving people back and forth, African Americans and white people, back and forth to the, to the bridge. And a man who believed she was doing something wrong shot her in her car. So on Friday, we remembered those two people, James Reeb, the minister, and Viola Liuza. It's important to remember those people in the midst of our faith who stood up for justice. But it's all more important to remember that they were part of a big movement a big movement that said it's not okay to treat people differently because of their race. And no matter who you are, you have to look around our society now and say we're still fighting that battle. Maybe not the right to vote. Certainly the right to exercise that vote. But all kinds of forces that say people are not equal are still with us. A lot of those 
based on what people look like, what their ethnicity is, where they came from, where their ancestors came from. So I want to encourage the children and the parents to talk about Selma this today, to remember that that fight was only 50 years ago, such a short time, and we're still working it out still working out, seeing people's differences, seeing people's similarities, getting past the way we, everyone, no matter what race we are, no matter what uh, color we are, no matter what skin tone we have, are still working out the issues of bias. Bias means seeing someone different because of what they look like. We've been talking about this a little bit all month, but today in church, honoring Selma, I want to bring that home. And I want to ask us all to have a conversation today about what that means to us today. Okay? That's a pretty serious story. We're not usually that serious in the story, but it's important. Selma anniversary. We're going to sing the children now to their church school. The inside back cover of the hymnal says, Go now in peace. We will sing now. Mm -hmm. 